All right, today gonna do uh, everything there is to know, or scratch that, everything I know about Palomar 300A linear amplifiers. Um, gonna start off with, I already did one on the transformer a little earlier, but I'm gonna start with that anyway. They made two versions of the um, transformer. Um, they're in the same case, and unless you take off the cover and, and actually measure it, it's probably hard to see in this picture, but the um, core in that top one is three inches long, and that's the 600 volt one that would go to a bridge um, rectifier circuit in the uh, RF deck. And the core of this one is two and a half inches long, and this one puts out around 300 volts. Uh, um, about half that, but this one goes to a voltage doubler. And other than that, they look identical. Um, I found that most do not have fuses, but that fuse is only for the low voltage, for the filament voltage, low voltage, and that's a 15 amp fuse because it takes a lot of current to run the uh, filaments at that uh, 12 volt. Um, also, an easy way to figure out which transformer you have before I get started is um, to measure the um, pins on the jack pins um, 5 and 6 which I did in another video um, but right quick here need another hand holding the camera and holding that um, but anyway pin 5 there at my thumb second one down and then 6 over here second one down from there um, this will be 1, 2, 3 and 4 at the bottom and uh, those are tied together one and three and two and four and that's your low voltage high current um, for your filaments again and then seven and eight here at the top would be your 120 AC coming in but if you measure five and six and everyone I saw transformer except that three inch one that's the one that has three inches that's the only one I have that's the uh, high voltage they were the low voltage and across pin five and six I got it marked there as three ohms approximately and then on the high voltage one going across pins five and six I just showed you get about 5.5 .5 ohms so just about double so that's a quick easy way to tell which one you have now I didn't, of the eight RF decks I had, I didn't find any that were any different than um, what you see here as far as the high voltage go. They all used that um, low voltage transformer with the voltage doubler. And we'll go this one because we had that one plugged in a little while ago. Um, same thing. And um, the AC um, comes in the middle of these two diodes here. And then the other line of the AC, actually, it comes in this black wire here, and it goes to um, the middle of these two caps here. And that uh, middle of the caps, middle of the diodes, creates a voltage doubler circuit, which doubles your um, voltage. Plus the filter caps, you know, give you peak voltage. So in, in both of these transformers, you get about 850 volts out DC. You know, plugged in. But an interesting, couple interesting things I found. Excuse me, I took a second COVID shot today, and I'm a little, a uh, little off my A game. But anyway, uh, one of the things I found is um, on the relay. Some have it on the PC board like that one. See the high voltage relay here, mounted onto the PC board. That relay only fires up when you key down. When you not key down, it cuts off the uh, AC going into the pop high voltage power supply. And hence, no high voltage going to the tubes until you key it down. But I thought all of them had that. But I found that um, a couple were different. Some have that relay mounted right on the board. Others have the relay mounted in this bottom cover here, corner here. Same relay does the same function. 
except some are mounted right there and some are mounted on the board I don't know why they moved it did they have problems with the relay on the board or what but um, even you can see the board the holes and that screw in the middle um, is where the relay would mount it to it so it's the same board except they mounted some of the relay on the board and some off the board why I don't know um, my best guess is it might have had problems being a relay mounted on the board so they moved it straight to the chassis but that's just a guess but another thing I found is some versions like this one have no relay it uses the same configuration with the voltage doubler and all that itself it doesn't have that um, high voltage relay at all so with this one as soon as you fire this amp up it um, puts the high voltage on the tubes where the other ones it would only put the high voltage when you key down and this one is actually a newer version too so I don't know if they just got rid of the relay or or, or why but no relay on this and another interesting thing I found is on the schematic it shows that the high voltage also goes to the operate standby switch there see those four wires two go to you know the standby and the relay and the other two um, turn off the high voltage when it's in standby mode now you already got the relay right there underneath why in the world would you need uh, to turn it off in standby too that doesn't make any sense to me but they did on a few versions and it's even on the schematic um, actually I got a schematic right here see this R4 that's the schematic for the relay and that relay only energized that's the high voltage um, tap coming out the transformer pin 5 and that's pin 6 up there and um, this relay only kicks in when you key down when you kick key down this amp it has about four relays and you can hear relays clicking in and that's one of them um, you know either that one mounted down there or that one on the board so when you key down that relay kicks in and turns on the high voltage but this later one doesn't have that actually most of them don't have that um, um, on the standby switch you see here this newer version or most versions it just has a two pin switch that just turns off the um, the uh, key and relays and all that so the high voltage again is on the tubes at all time on this one no no um, relay and no voltage uh, being cut on and off going through the um, operate standby switch like this one so I thought that was interesting too and this is an older black face here with the um, with the um, standby switch with the high voltage going through it and the relay on the chassis with the high voltage going through it and another thing I found and probably the last thing I found with it is that these older versions that board there is the negative bias board it puts negative bias on the tubes um, I've measured it and it's 16 volts negative 16 volts going to grid one of the tubes in standby so it's keeping the tubes uh, from not conducting in standby and when you key down it it kind of puts a ground on one of the uh, resistors in on that board or it, through a relay it, it puts a ground on one and uh, it turns the negative bias to um, 8 volts on the driver tubes and 10 volts on the final tubes when you key down but if you notice there are like two sets of everything on this negative bias board and like one set that upper one there would go to um, let's say the drivers and this bottom set you know uh, a duplicate would go to the finals and that's on the older version again but then on the newer version and this one's a white face the board is different 
um, it's not two duplicate sets and what it is 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 one set similar to the other one and then a, uh, for the finals and then for the drivers it just uses a couple added uh, resistors that tap off the um, the voltage going to the finals and this is just uh, that board there from another one that I pulled out and that's a little pinout or chart I made of what does what that over here that's the uh, relay switch that when uh, relay key keys in when you key down it puts a ground on um, that pin there and this bottom one is the negative bias to the driver tubes that's the negative bi bias to the final tubes and then that one above that next to the diode there is just the uh, the um, AC coming in the low voltage AC coming in another quick thing I found is that these amps for the low voltage and for the bias they use these big old plastic 1000 UF uh, uh, electrolytic capacitors and I've had problems with one of these amps that you know it was not working right the bias wasn't right and kind of find out that uh, the cap was shorted no reading at all that's a short across that cap so replace all your caps guys um, these 40 50 year old amps uh, if you don't recap it you know caps there and that plastic one was replaced with the black one there same thing with this here and this one had two of them with the uh, brown ones replaced it but always replace your caps if you don't recap an amp like these you're gonna have nothing but problems um, so I guess I'm getting close to the finish of this one um, I'm gonna I did one on this already but just right quick that pot there goes for the meter to make your meter read to you know calibrate to what a watt meter does that's the input SWR when you're on the high side using the driver tubes on this amp when you're on the low side it bypasses the two driver tubes and that's the tuning when you um, bypass the driver tubes and this cap here or this variable trimmer cap would be to adjust the input SWR when you're on the low side of the switch right here low power high power and I think that's gonna be it for today maybe I'm a little long with it maybe I'm a little off I am feeling a little funny like I said I did tech cake my second COVID shot earlier today and I'm feeling uh, not a hundred percent not sick but maybe off like I got a hangover or something so anyway hope you enjoyed this video of the differences of the Palomar 300A hopefully I fire one up and um, have it coming soon oh well, since I made this stupid thing um, that's just a rewrite of the negative bias board with the uh, duplicate which matches um, that one and that's a schematic of the non-duplicate one that added a couple resistors instead of uh, uh, two separate circuits so hope this helps somebody y'all have a great day Bye.